right. You guys, I have an amazing interviewee here in the building for his boss move interview, y'all. I met him moments ago, a couple weeks ago, at the Lucky 7 Showcase, you guys, here in Atlanta, Georgia. We had an amazing time. He did his thing, was very supportive to the artists that were in the building as he is an artist himself, all the way from New Jersey to Atlanta. We have Mr. Boulevard Skino in the building. Yes, 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 yes. What's the verdict? Yeah. <laughs> What's the verdict? What's the I love verdict? it. How you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Everything is level. Everything is ivory. I can't complain. That's cool. That's cool. So let everybody know your name. I did say that correctly, right? Yeah, Boulevard Skino? Y'all yeah, for real. Behind the scenes, I'm like, let me make sure I'm going <laughs> to say your name correctly, please. That's very important to me. So let everybody know who you are. Say your name, how, with your swag, how you say your name, and yeah. then uh, let people know a little bit Boulevard about Skino, you. Big B's LVD Skino. I'm from Jersey. Trenton, New Jersey, be exact. Uh, I get the Boulevard name. That's where I'm from. I grew up on Martin King. Dr. Martin King Boulevard. Wow, I grew up on Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard too. Well, I'm from New Orleans, and yeah. so we have, you know, everybody got Martin King. Yeah, it's Martin Luther King in every hood, you know? So, hood near you. So, I just so happen to be from that neighborhood, and um, there's, there's many skin nose in the hood. So, in, in order for me to separate myself from my other skin nose, I let them know, like, I'm Boulevard skin, I'm from the Boulevard. Like, gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So, why do you travel from New Jersey to Atlanta so much? Are you like, you know, by state living in two places, from, you know what I'm saying? Your family is still in work is here? Well, I could, well first I would say, um, I came, like I said, I came down here years ago, 2000, out there in New Jersey. My family decided to move us, move us out of, me and my brothers and all my siblings out of, the, out of the state. Came down here, you know, trying to make, you know, trying to make the best of it. Got into trouble down here as well. Oh my God, yeah, so it's so. you. Ain't no yeah, trouble exactly, traveling yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely me. I, it definitely was me. Right, I, right, right. I, I like out. how you said that it was you. So yeah. it sounds like you, you know, took a look in the mirror and started yeah, turning yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, Once I realized um, what was my stumbling block, what I was messing up at, what I was falling short at, I started correcting them. You know, making amends with my with myself first, then making amends with many other things. Oh wow, so, that's amazing. I like how you. That's very important because. It, you, they say misery love company. Right, 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 right. And a lot of times it be yourself. You live, we live in our heads a lot. You know what I mean? And we let the lowest things um, live free, rent free in, your, in our heads. Oh my so God. So if we're not at peace with ourselves, then, you know, we still are being miserable, miserable for out of nowhere. You could be having a good day, making good money, but just the fact that you didn't take the time out to figure yourself out. Right. You know, or right. what's going on, what's really bothering you. Cause a lot of times it'll be the past. It's the past life that really bothers people. That's trying to hunt you. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can't change the past. I'm not saying don't act like it didn't happen. Right. But you can't act like it's still happening. Right. Currently, actively, as if you still relive in the same moment like a nightmare every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like how much are you gonna grow with that type of mind frame? Yeah. That comes with forgiving yourself. Like forgiving this, I forgave myself on a lot of mistakes and poor decisions I made in my life. Like when I came, when I first came down here, I didn't like I said I didn't make the best of it because I was I found this I, I met a homie that was from here. He's from Four Four. He just so happened to be from the Boulevard as well, and he brought me over there to the Boulevard and I ran the streets out there like just. So I'm just picking I'm myself. Right, you can't say, oh, it's because I'm in Jersey. You know, you can't exactly. go to another state. So then you got to look trouble. at, okay, yeah. you know. So definitely respect the fact that you grew up. Yeah. <laughs> you I know what I'm saying? Fast. I caught on fast. Like, you know, you know stand in front of that front of people, and they, they get to do whatever they want with you. They'll give you all the time they want to give you. Right. You know, um, you got to spend all this money just to fight a, a case. That you know they could they could have evidence or no evidence. You still got to pay bread. You get me. So once I start learning, like you know what, I'm about to be a, a law-abiding citizen. I don't want to be no gangster no more. I don't want to be no criminal. I'm about to be a civilian. So, <laughs> I know that's right. And yeah. it, but it feels a lot better just because you get to save your money. Right. You don't have to be worried a lot about of money. when your court date <laughs> is. You know you don't have to. Right. Worry about per se no one. You sitting know, in jail over your alone. Shoulder. Yeah, like sitting in jail a month. Other people that love it, you got it's like a party in jail. Like people go to jail, they they yeah. see. They, I wasn't with that, bro. I would. They right, celebrate. Right. I'm like, you supposed to be mad. You see somebody else coming in there, 
You know what I mean? Right. Ending up in the same situation that you celebrate. I didn't like that. They were just happy that somebody that they knew exactly. was with them. And I, could under, I, could, I could understand <laughs> that to an extent. Like, don't celebrate because right. I'm here, but you, it is bringing some comfort. Yeah, I understand the comfort. Here. Yeah, I, I, I got comfort. I seen a lot of familiar faces come in the gate with me, but I always like, yo. We got to get out of here. Yeah, we got to get out of this can't be our, this. Can't be a, this can't be our life, bro. Because right. we got a story, we got a, we got a family raised. I can't have my, I can't raise my family behind them bar. Exactly. Yeah. You can talk to them until you, then you blew in the face, but then they gotta pay for the calls, mm -hmm. and then you only get limited, yes, um, free calls. You know what I'm saying? So trust me, I know. Wow. That goes. hurricane, like you exactly. know what I'm saying? They seeing people, they seeing people getting eaten by alligators in the water. All kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, all kind of stuff just going on. Like and a lot of people don't talk about it today. I think that's. I think Katrina, her pick Katrina needs to be talked about more. Oh, well, trust me. Yeah. I, I you know keep I mean? it alive in a sense of just explaining. Like, you heard me just naturally explain yeah. it right now. Like, that. Yeah. people don't understand because even till today, right now, like, imagine you having a, a long... I love the way I embrace, you know, um, blackness. Right. Oh, love, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love the way I Black. Yeah, it's like an eating island. Getting that gumbo, uh -huh. getting that good old southern meal. Exactly. You know? What would you say is something that's unique to Jersey? Unique to Jersey, what I would say, well, I can't really, I can't really say because I'm, the Jersey kind of crazy. Cause Jersey, we got the Northern Jersey, where Northern Jersey is more city-like, and towards is more towards New York. Then I, I live in Central Jersey. Well, we kind of more we like city and country at the same time, and then South Jersey is kind of country. Mm, okay. So yeah, it's mixed. It's gotcha. Yeah, okay, it's that's, so that's unique—the fact that it's mixed. New Orleans is. A lot of people don't know that. New Orleans is mixed uh, in the city. Becoming a um, filmmaker. Oh. You know, I'm developing myself out to be a, a filmmaker. Um, I'm not need you. Ain't no Mike. I am. I just need, it's a matter of when you gonna be here. This this is about to be my first home again. Oh, you know, gotcha, gotcha. So I'm moving. I just came down here to see the scenery, see how everything is, cause you know I'm, I I was out of touch with Je um with Georgia for a long time. Right, right. And, uh, but I always kept in touch with family and friends. Gotcha. And everything, but I know a lot of things shift uh -huh. and change. You know what I'm saying? Anything you can't go to the same spots you used to go. You can't hang where you used to hang. You know what I'm saying? You gotta relearn yeah, everything. Yeah, you gotta relearn you everything. You turn your life around, yeah, so you gotta yeah. make sure you're exactly. going to old exactly. places. Exactly. I don't. RIP, like I said, RIP to my boy Tom, because he was the one that introduced me to uh, the boulevard. Mm -hmm. to, he introduced me to Atlanta, man. I was living in Stone Mountain. Mm -hmm. And I remember being miserable living in Stone Mountain, because it, it wasn't the hood. Living in Stone Mountain, like, man, this is whack. I'm gonna go back to Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then I met him. He like, man, come with me. I'm taking, I'm taking you to Atlanta. Got on the mortar, got on the mortar train, and then I start learning the routes. And that's the, that's the, I start popping up in this hood without him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just right. gonna meet him. Like, he like, he's looking at me crazy. Like, you came, you came out here by yourself. Oh like, like, God. yeah, I'm out here. You know, so. <laughs> that's cool. That's yeah. amazing. That's awesome. So tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram at Boulevard Skino, but I, I really want traffic to move to YouTube, Boulevard Skino. That's my that's my channel. Spell it for us. B L V D S K I N O. That's my uh YouTube channel. Boulevard Skino, y'all. Boulevard that's, Skino. That's where that's where all the greatness is gonna be at. Exactly. That's gonna guys. be all my greatness on, and, on YouTube channel. And just tell everybody again where they can find you. Boulevard Skino, B L V D S K I N O. Right. And just so you know, you guys, shout out to Chicago that's listening right now. Shout out to London that's listening right now. Flint, Michigan, big New up, Jersey, Colorado, South Fulton, Georgia in the building, Houston, Texas, Wisconsin in the building, Pensacola, bless New up, Orleans up, in yeah. the building, y'all. Thank y'all from all over the world that are tuned in to listen to myself and Boulevard Skino. Boulevard Skino. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Skino we appreciate kid. you for being here on JPRG Radio. And again, tell everybody you. one more time, what's your boss move? My boss move, man, being a filmmaker, developing myself to be a filmmaker, um, trying to find, independently trying to find my way in the uh, entertainment. In planner. Okay. So, all events need film. Sure, no. <laughs> you know that's what I'm saying? That's why you buying mad cameras, equipment, right. and everything, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. So, y'all, it's all about collaborating. It's it all about it really doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, how important is it to 
work with other people you feel like you could just do everything by yourself no it's very important to work with people because for one communication skills get better and better the more you communicate with people right um you get to pick up pick, pick at each other's brain see what you know you get what i know put it together you know because it's called it's called unity Exactly. You know, unity, teamwork, make your dream work. Right. That's that's the that's the model I live by. I always live by for a very long time, and um, I, I, it don't matter. Like I, I'm a diversity type of individual. I don't care what, what lane you coming from, what walk of life you coming from, as long as you on one accord, and we both trying to achieve the same goal. Let's, let's get it. Like, that's how I am. On air, it's called the Hustle Gala. Mm. H U S S L E Gala. It was originally, it is Nipsey Hussle inspired. That's why I spelled like his name. Okay. Um, rest in peace. So when he first passed away, God gave me the vision. And it's called Hustle Gala Community Cultivation. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing um, that sparked my mind to bring it up because we all have to be on one accord in a community. Yes. We all have to be on one accord in our household with the families. And then the families make up the community. And then individuals make up the family. So making sure that we all are on one accord. Um, that event is August 15th on Nipsey Hussle's birthday. I'll be around. God will. I definitely will be around. That's actually Nipsey Hussle's birthday. Um, this year, we're actually going to pass the torch over to Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be paying tributes to him through live music, live mm -hmm. paintings, silent auction paintings, aerial dancing, spiritual dancing, skits with Gigi and Kobe. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, we're also very formal. Um, and you know, come in your best dress. Sunday's oh. best. It's on a Sunday, so Sunday's best for sure. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, again, it's August fifteenth here in Riverdale, Georgia. Okay. Um, y'all can find that information at hustlegala.com. That's h u s s l e g a l a dot com. I don't be inviting people to my stuff on live on Ilna. Exactly. So it just was because you were talking about cultivating. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The community and things like that. So yeah. I want to make sure we keep that energy going. Yeah, this me and we'll have a spot life. for you at the table. Yeah, this this me in real life. Like I'm, I'm, I'm that guy that could, I'm approachable but unapproachable. Meaning like I'm like it's like playing jump rope with me. You gotta know when to approach me, when not to approach me, type of individual. Right, and you I'm just saying, saying man, that's yeah. normally what you know. That's how it goes. Everybody gotta just have. I'm the same person. Like, yeah, have that discernment. Yeah. So. Thank you for being a part of JPRG Radio. Thank you for having me come here and bless. No problem, and, no problem. You know, and again, tell everybody station. where they can find you. You can find me on YouTube, Boulevard Skino, B L V D S K I N O. That's where you're gonna find a lot of my activities, a lot of my creativity, um, a lot of videos. And then I'm a, what I like to do on YouTube too, I like to follow other people's YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I like Listen, to yeah, love. subscribe for subscribe. Like that's how that's basically support, how I support. am. Yeah, like I don't mind subscribing to if it's a if it's a thousand YouTube subscribe, I was I would subscribe to a thousand YouTube subscribers. That's right. how I am. That's like, what you it feel is. Me? That's what it is. It cost me nothing. Exactly. You know, so y'all support is a verb. I'm just saying. Okay. So thank you for being a part of JPRG Radio. Thank you for having Y'all, he's definitely encouraging you guys to subscribe to his YouTube channel so y'all make sure y'all support this young man. And let me know that I will subscribe back. Exactly. So that's what we're doing Let's keep all this YouTube summer month. through long. <laughs> we're supporting. Tell everybody one thing um, from your heart that could potentially help them. Like it could be a scripture you go by or uh, something out of a, a quote you go by or, you know, words of affirmation or a business tip. Something I use every day. Um, Stay, stay awakened. You get what I'm saying? Like, stay awakened all across the board. Stay on guard. I'm that type of person. I'll tell you, stay on guard because awareness is everything. Right. When you're aware of something, you you move totally different. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. um, that comes with, like I said, that comes with uh, acknowledgement, acknowledging. You know, I mean, what type of person you are. Like, I value myself. You get what I'm saying? So, I carry myself a certain kind of way. Like. Like, like you, when you saw me at that event, mm -hmm. my board I was with, I asked him a thousand questions before we went to that event. So I could make sure that event was like, you know, mm -hmm. safe and secure for me to go. I don't just go places right. like I ain't gonna be just going. Cause now, like I said, I value myself more. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm more, I'm more awakened now. Right. That I know people, places, and things will put me in certain situations I don't need to be in. Right. You know, if I could avoid them, I'm gonna avoid them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. That's beautiful. So y'all, y'all heard it here first at JPRG Radio. And this is your girl Charisma every single Saturday at 6 to 8. And don't yes, you indeed. be light. JPRG. There you go. Well, <laughs> until next time.
Bless up.